I use the sample butterfly image for this patch by adding movie file in top. Then add fit top to set the resolution. Add a constant chop to determine the amount of the resolution. Set X and Y for the constant parameters and set the resolution you want. Then use it for the resolution in fit top parameters common tab. Now add noise top. Decrease the period and the offset. Add limit and from its parameters go to quantize tab. Turn on quantize position. Add fit top and again use the constant chop for the resolution. Set type to fit horizontally. After that add threshold top and decrease its number to have more white pixels. The noise needs to be animated with an absolute time expression. Add composite and connect these two to it. Then change composite operation to Y film. Swip inputs if needed. Until now you must have something like this. Create a feedback loop here. Add feedback top and keyboard chop to post reset. Connect it to a transform top and a level top. Then add top to the back of the feedback. I want to use normal map to create the effect. So I add normal map and displace top to displace the image with its normal map. Use the result of displace as the target top for the feedback top. Slightly decrease the opacity from the level top. Set the displace amount to 0 0.02. Also set the Y parameters of the translate to 0.02 in the transform operator in the feedback loop. By increasing the sample steps of the normal map, you will see the effect.
After that add monochrome and threshold top. Increase the threshold to 1 so that the image will be pure black and white. I like to add level top to invert colors. I can get up and now. Also I want to add some details to the effect, so I come to the first part of the patch after the movie file in, and add a noise top. Decrease the amplitude and offset. I think a level also is needed here to control the grain effect. You have to be careful with these numbers to get the correct results so take your time and thank you for watching. See you in the next videos.